Eastern Bloc Air Guns is back, this time with a Slovenian air gun, the RTI Priest in 25 caliber with Desert Tan Karaoke. All right, we say it. Um, I've had my eye on this gun for years now. It initially grabbed my attention, I would say it was 2016, late 16, or early 17, where I saw it because it caught my eye because it looked like another gun that that came out and it was popular that everybody wanted at that time. And more I read into it, more interested I got, but I held off for a couple reasons. Anyway, I'll get to that later. So the reason it caught my eye two years ago was because it was, first off, I noticed it was $900 cheaper than that other gun. Second, it had a cocking lever on the left side, which I am such a fan of. I love having this quick follow-up shots. I can't go without it now. It's better than having semi-auto. Semi-autos break and clog up. That is trustworthy. And two is less complex than that other gun. I know if I had the other gun paid 900 bucks more, I'd just be, I'd set all the, everything to where I wanted it and then not touch the adjustments at all. So what would be the point of having such an adjustment gun if I don't want to switch the adjustments back to a slug and back to a 25, I don't want to do any of that. I want a gun, tune it perfectly and just keep it there knowing that every time I can grab it, it's going to be perfectly tuned to what I'm used to. So there's no point of paying 900 more dollars for a bunch of adjustments that you never, I'm never going to use. And plus, with, with those adjustments come more O-rings, more possibility of leak, and more possibility of it getting damage or malfunctioning. I want the bare bones skeleton gun, and that's what RTI has delivered. Skeleton gun. Now this gun, I gotta mention, I did a couple things to it. First off, I put a moderator on it. It comes with a half inch UNF. Boom, pop the Donnie FL Tasu on it. Quiet it down immensely. As you can hear, much quieter. For a 25 caliber, putting out 50 foot pounds, that was quiet. And then I uh, it came with a 300 bar, 300 cc, 350 cc aluminum bottle. I'd quickly replaced with a 350 cc, 4500 carbon fiber bottle, which it, it dropped about a pound in weight, which is a felt like two pounds because the aluminum bottle, the extra pound up in front made it double felt like the weight was doubled so I got rid of that that was cheap it's a hundred bucks I bought this bottle for another gun never really used it slapped it on this one perfect so and then I did I souped it up just a tiny bit I'll show you a video I put a couple washers on the spring I'll show you a video of that to get a I think it was about 30 40 more foot pound or feet per second other than that Oh, I forgot to tell you, I usually don't do reviews on guns until years pass when I feel completely confident with this one. I'm just going to throw that out the door and do this review because I'm so confident at everything about this gun. It's going to be one of my, I don't think it's going to be my go-to. Well, it might be, I don't know. I, I'll have to see. I don't think anything can beat the Lelia, but in 25 caliber, is it two different guns. I don't know. It might be my go to 25 caliber. Next comes the specifications of the Priest. Um, I got mine in 25 caliber, but if you wanted to, you can get a barrel kit and change calibers pretty easily. You just slide the barrel out here and slide the probe out. Boom. I'm never going to do it. I'd rather buy two separate caliber guns than have to do that all the time and change scopes. It's not worth it in my opinion. But anyway, uh, 
177, 22, and 25 come in the, what's the one other the reason I bought it, the CZ barrel, not a Lothar Walther. Most, most guns I buy are Lothar Walther, but this is my first ever CZ barrel, and I've heard so many good things about it, and I went to the range the last two days, and all the good things you hear about CZ barrels are right. They're correct. They are so accurate. There's a Picatinny rail for all you guys who want to know that. It's not the dovetail crap. I think of dovetail, I think of a gun with it's a toy most most time. But it has an actual professional, real, manly Picatinny. Um, like I said in the intro, it has a pull lever. One of the complaints about the first version was really tough. It still is tough. I can see why people complain if you're a 13-year-old girl, 10-year-old boy, or 7-year-old man, you would think it's tough. But, or if you're a big pussy. But, you know, it's not bad. I'm, I don't think people can not buy the gun just because it's a little bit of weight. Anyway, uh, it's got a spring to help push it back. You see? It helps you assist a little bit with the spring. takes off some of the weight, pushing it back. So you don't have to push it hard. I'll go back with south. And then the trigger, the first version, there's some complaining about the trigger, but I'm gonna get into that. The trigger is good now. I think it's better than my head guns. Super light. I'll do a video on that. Just see. Good trigger. Good, 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 good. Uh, it's got a Oh, the big thing. It's got two Foster fill nipples. That is worth hundreds of dollars. No fill probes with this gun. Boom! Fill nipple to fill the bottle. And a gauge, the bottle gauge to see how much you have left. This 25 is regulated at 150 and there's a 150 mark. So if I'm at the mark, 150 mark, I have to refill. It's pretty easy. No guessing. And then it's got a fill nipple on the back, which you can tether it to a bottle and put the bottle in your backpack with tons of shots. I'm never going to do it, but it's there. And then uh, a half inch UNF adapter for any moderator you want. I went with a smaller one. I just love the way it looks on this gun. And then an AR pistol grip, which is a very soft, very nice pistol grip. I like it. I'm never going to change this grip, but if you want to, you can. Pick your own. And it comes in two different uh, versions of the Priest 2. There's a standard, which is what I got, and then a performance version, which has an adjustable butt plate. You can adjust the spring quite a bit, and you can add a regulator that's externally adjustable. You don't have to take the gun apart. I went with the standard version. Like I said, I don't really care about I'll tune a gun. I'll spend a when I first get a gun. I'll tune it over and over again, tear it apart, tune it. But once I get it tuned, I want it just to stay exactly where it is. So I got the standard version in Kuroki, in Desert Tan, which you I had to go out of, had to buy it elsewhere. You can't really buy this standard version in Desert Tan, so I had to go elsewhere to buy it because I love the look. I love the look of this Desert Tan. And then the black moderator, the black and tan all mixed together. <sighs> Sexy. Power. Uh, this gun and the standard version is completely capable of just normal pellets. Um, 50 foot pounds up to right around 50 for the 25 caliber. 35 and 22 and about 22 pound foot pounds and 177 uh, You can get a little more out of it with the if you get the performance version I don't know what those numbers are, but I know what mine are. That's all I'm gonna talk about You can adjust the hammer spring and the regulator in the performance version, but you're gonna pay more for that um, Right now I, I was just at the range. I'm shooting the heavier 34 grain I don't know exact FP, I'll put it on the screen. 
by 34 grain we're traveling right around 835 whatever that is I'll put it on so I mean it's got oh, power it's not the Eastern Eastern European air guns always seem to have more power than like the British ones that's why I love them power matters power and accuracy matter accuracy and then right behind accuracy is always power for me Flat ejectors is more important than actual power. You're looking at speed. Anyway, whatever. All right, am I, am I in no way condoning this modification? <laughs> All right, I took the back plate off, took the spring out, and there's a little like spring plate, I call it, I think, right there. I put two of these little tiny washers on there just to give the spring more power. It, I definitely saw an increase in uh, power, at least 30 to 40 for those two springs. All I could fit was two. If you put more than two, it won't cock back. So I don't condone it, but there you go if you want more power, guys. And it costs 39 cents for those springs. All right, here's the trigger. Get the close. Very light here. Hard stage and there's no travel in that second stage. It just goes off. So amazed. That was one of the complaints about the first one. The trigger wasn't great, but this is a great trigger. <laughs> Look at it. I mean, the feel of the trigger is kind of like it's flat. It's not like the cool ones that with that little trigger cup. It, it works perfect. Look at that here. I'll push it on this way. No travel. Just breaks like glass. And I'll do the, I believe, I haven't done it. Uh, it's got, it's less than my Ed gun. So I would say right around between a pound and a half and two pounds, I'm guessing. We'll see. All right, RTI Priest 2 trigger pull. Zero. Wow. Wow, that was like 0.68. Holy crap. Closer to half pound. I thought it was a pound and a half. Wow. Triggers better than I expected. Oh. <clears throat> Try that one again. Here we go, chronograph, RTI Priest. One, 895, that's low. Two, 919, 9.22, 9.27, 9.21, 9.23, 9.20, 9.32, 923, 927. All right, uh, before I start the accuracy portion, I went out yesterday and with 25 grainers, King Diablo Zacks. Shot a 30 round group here, just put a giant hole in it. A couple like four flyers, about 30. 
And then I shot again, two flyers, I'd say, out of, thir out of ten. And I shot another one with maybe two or three flyers out of ten. Then I shot a twirl of fifty. And most all were headshots, maybe one ear shot and one shoulder shot. So I'm mighty impressed. And the only thing I really did for accuracy is swab the barrel, which there was some black dirty tar slime in there. I'll show you a photo right now of that. So that's the only thing I did. Glad I swabbed it because if you do buy a priest, clean the barrel and then shoot. I wouldn't have got these groups like this if I had that crap. Uh, and then I went out today and uh, I was dealing with much more wind but the groups were seemed to be just as good if not better with more wind even. I'm shooting what is it 25 grain um, start off, I shot 25 grain yesterday and I uh, was getting great groups. I'll show you photos of those. Uh, besides from like a couple flyers here and there, I probably easily had a half inch group at 50 with these. Let's we'll see what happens today now that I have my recording equipment. Dude, this is all from the magazine. If your gun comes with the magazine, you should shoot with the magazine if you're a hunter. Or that was the same hole. Five. Okay, the wind picked up there. I hit the same spot though. Six. That was a bad shot by me. I still hit nice. Six. Oh my god. That one went a little right. Might have been win. Seven. Oh, is that it? No, that's ten. All right, that was a good group. Let's measure at uh, my. All right, here we go, uh, 34 grain Mach 2s. We'll see how much they drop. My Mach 1s are going about 8.30. Okay, yeah, that's more than I thought. Okay, maybe not. Let's see, maybe the first one's low. Yeah, okay, first one's probably low. Okay, this is, this gun shoots both of them very well. Okay, that was high, damn. Okay, that's 10. All right, uh, Barracuda Hunter with the uh, hollow point, not the X. The X is a hollow point extreme. These were H&N, 27.4 grains. Um, we'll see how they do. I have them leaning around from one of my other guns from years ago. I can tell this gun is much more accurate than uh, my, all my other 25s, which were 
low end guns, which probably were half the price of this one. This one's still cheap, very reasonable. Okay, one. Okay, two. I don't think I'm gonna like this one. Three. Four. Okay, if I get one more flyer like that, I'm quitting. Ah, uh, screw it. I'm not shooting. No more. I'm not shooting these anymore. They suck. Here's 26.8 grain Nielsen. It's a brand new. The only slug that I plan on, if it works, the only slug I'm going to test out this gun, because I want the lightest possible flash trajectory. Let's see what happens. It's going to be hard to beat the 25 grainers, though. Yeah, they're going to the left. Hmm. Why do slugs go to the left? Oops. I think I might have one in the chamber. Yeah, I do. Okay, that was high. It's probably me. Oh, okay. This might be a slug gun. Mm, maybe not. Seem to have a little bit of problems feeding. That's what I'm dealing with right here. I'm not pulling back enough. Uh, I'm not going to give up on the slugs, but I'm not super impressed. All right, here's uh, the preset 100. With this wind, I decided I have to go with the Mach 2s, even though they seem to be less accurate than the 25s. 25s, I think, are the one made for this gun. I, uh, but if I'm shooting long range, I'll be shooting the 34 anyway. One. I'm single loading by the way. It's pretty easy to single load with this gun. Two. Three. Four. Wow. Five. I'm gonna keep going. Good whole ten. Six. <laughs> Seven. Hope I'm not off the reg yet. No. I think I have a shot left. Okay, that one's high. Okay, I'm done. Here. 
I think I'm off the rag or something. In conclusion, well, I'll make it short because I think that review spoke for itself. I mean, I got, I think you, all you guys got the gist of what I think about this gun. So, great buy for the money. I don't really have too many complaints. I suppose I should reiterate. I admit, okay, this cocking lever is heavy. It does have weight behind it. it does not a problem for me most of the time, but every once in a while I just don't pull it back when I feel lazy all the way and two the pellet when it does go into the breech when you pull it forward it does feel like a violent process even though I don't feel like that process affects the accuracy I still don't like it and two or three I love grabbing this gun in here right here but right there this sharp edge of the metal trim digs into your fingers I'll be uh, it's an easy fix for me eventually I'm gonna buy some trim and put in there soften it up but I know some people would want to know about that so but all in all I'm so glad I ran down to EBR last year and seen the RTI guns in action if you guys don't know the RTI Profit which is a souped up a super super souped up crease from what I can tell you can tell it a different regulator, high power regulator, a huge plenum stuck out to here, hammer spring adjustment plate, and a stronger hammer spring. It, was, it destroyed all the other guns in the 50 yard bench rest and won it all just because of the power. And it had a different barrel. They didn't tell me what type of barrel it had, but it had some sort of barrel that's not been used in gun designed for. JSB monster redesigns and it won the 50 yards so keep your eyes out because eventually maybe down the road I'll be selling this one if I get the profit so or maybe I'll get both the profit and the priest I don't know I'll have to think about that one maybe a profit in 30 I don't know we'll see I'll keep you guys updated and I'll be I'll definitely be putting out some hunting videos with this here in the future this winter. Keep posted, subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you for watching.